there's no doubt that God has had his place in where we stand today. In front of God and our families, I let go of the broken road that led me to you. I give you my trust and my heart in the palm of your hands forever. Thomas, if you repeat after me, I, Thomas, I, Thomas. take you, Lori, be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, according to God's holy plan, till death do us part. And Lori, if you repeat after me, I, Lori. I, Lori. Take you, Thomas. Take you, Thomas. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. According to God's holy plan. According to God's holy plan. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. What tokens do you give as symbols of these vows that you have made to each other? Let us uh, talk about these rings just for a moment. When God made a covenant with Noah, he set his rainbow in the sky as a token of that covenant and said, I will look upon this and I will remember this everlasting covenant. You have selected rings to be tokens of your marriage covenant. And they're made of a type of that which is least tarnished and most enduring, fittingly representing the ties that bind husband and wife. Also, these rings are endless circles until broken by some outside force. And they're to be reminders of the endless union which is to continue between you as long as you both shall live. Now, if you put that on Lori's finger, please. And repeat after me. With this, ring, With this ring, I pledge my faith and trust. Receive it as a symbol of our endless union and unbroken love. Unbroken. And Lori, if you place this ring on Tom's finger, please. And repeat after me. With this ring, With this ring I, pledge my faith and trust. I pledge my faith and trust. Receive it as a symbol, Receive it as a symbol. of our endless union of our endless union and unbroken love. And unbroken love. Thomas and uh, Lori have chosen to light a unity candle to further reveal the intent of this marriage. And while each of them brings something of the past to this altar, they leave this place intent upon their two lives being united as one in the light of the world, Jesus Christ.
I charge you both, as you wish for happiness, to be true to these vows that you have made to each other. May your marriage bring you all the fulfillment that a marriage should bring. And may the Lord give you patience, tolerance, and understanding. May it be full of joy and laughter, as well as comfort and support. Thomas, God, guard well this bride who now commits herself into your keeping, and strive so to live your life in such a way that no word or deed of yours shall cloud her brow with grief, nor dim her eyes with tears. And Lori, it will be your part to strive to retain by your virtues a heart that you have obviously won by your graces. And to both of you, I say, put the Lord in the very center of your marriage, because as you draw closer to the Lord, He will draw you closer to each other. In fact, it's been said that it takes three to make a truly happy marriage, a bride, a groom, and the Lord. Let's pray. Father God, this is a, a joyful day, and uh, this is a, a, a scenario that is uh, so crazy and so unique that it can only be from you. And so, Lord, I ask that uh, this would be a, a day in every way of new beginnings, Lord. That uh, the future that you have for uh, Tom and Lori will be surprising to them, will be amazing for them, and will be fulfilled <coughs> in every way as we now commit them into your hands. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And now, having heard you make these pledges of your affection, and take these vows of fidelity I do by the authority conferred upon me by the Church of Christ and by the laws of the state of Ohio, and that's hard for me to say, <laughs> pronounce you <laughs> husband and wife, no longer two, but now one, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And Thomas, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Day of December, year of our Lord 2009, it is my very happy privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Birkin. <laughs>